Hello fellow hookers, welcome to my video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you 15 free crochet patterns that I have saved on my Pinterest. Some of these patterns I have tried myself and I have made them. They are pretty beginner friendly. Um, some of them are more the beginner kind of heading towards intermediate level. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty easy to make and yeah so without further ado let's get started to that video so the first uh crochet pattern that i want to share with you is called the mario mushrooms and it is by wolf off the hook um i have made these little mushrooms before as you will see in a picture here and they were very simple to make they're super cute and they're just the perfect size for any super mario fan they're just really great gifts so i definitely recommend anyone to try it i'm not sure so much about selling them um but i definitely recommend as a gift so the next pattern that i want to share with you is called the german pickle a lot of people recognize the pickle as an emotional support pickle so if you ever want to make your own um you can go ahead and follow that pattern which is by Sorella and it is very simple I have made the pickle before which I have right here um, it is super super cute and it's just so chunky and I think it's just adorable so I definitely recommend anyone trying it whether they want to make their own little emotional support pickles or they just want to make pickles in general <laughs> as a gift the third crochet pattern that I'm going to be sharing with you are the bunny peeps. Easter is right around the corner, so what a perfect time it is to make some bunny peeps. And this pattern is by Neogurumi. I have made those before as a gift for my nieces and nephew. They're very simple to make, they're super cute, and they're just a perfect size honestly. And I highly, highly recommend. The next pattern is a kimbap by Curious Papaya. I haven't made a kimbap yet, but I do want to make one in the future because who doesn't love a giant food pillow? I mean, look behind me. <laughs> They're all pillows behind me. So I definitely want to make that in the future. And um, I have read through the pattern and it seems very simple. There is a lot of color changing. So if you're not very comfortable with that, I don't recommend you following it. But if you're okay with color changing pretty often, definitely recommend because it just looks so cute. And I know I'm going to be doing it sometime in the future. So the next one is a cup ramen by Stringy Ding Ding. Um, I do have a lot of uh, Stringy Ding Ding's patterns saved on my Pinterest because I, I'm just in love with what they do. Um, and one of them is this little cup ramen. Um, I have made two versions of those. Um, I have made the original version, which is like the smaller one, which you see in the image here. And then I also have made the big one. Um, and those honestly sold out. Um, from my shop very quickly. If you are interested in making that, definitely follow this pattern. It is free, <laughs> obviously. And yeah, it is super cute. I love it. The next pattern is a strawberry plush by Hey Hey Crochet. So I haven't followed this pattern yet, <laughs> um, but I will because summer is approaching. Spring is like literally right next door. Um, so I think having a little strawberry plush would be super cute and super fun to have. Also, it's like a jumbo size and who doesn't love jumbo food? Like I said, I have a lot behind me. So <laughs> I definitely want to increase my collection. So I have looked through the pattern and it looks very, very easy to make. So I highly recommend anyone, even if you're a super beginner in crochet, definitely make it. <laughs> and then the next one, which kind of goes in hand with the strawberry plush, is the Lemon Cuddler. And it is by the Turtle Trunk. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of lemons, I immediately think of summer. <laughs> so with summer just coming after spring, um, I think it would be perfect to have around in your house as like a little decorative pillow or just something to cuddle with during the summer. Um, I also think it will go 
pretty perfect with the strawberry plush um because strawberry lemonade i mean i love strawberry lemonade so i think it would be really really fun to have both of them um in the spring and summer as some decorative pillows so i have looked through that pattern as well and i do want to make it for sure <laughs> now, the next pattern is the amigurumi rosy turtle it is by crafty kitty crochet i have followed this pattern and it is like the most adorable thing ever i was obsessed with it when i first made it the only thing i would say it is beginner friendly but i would say it's more for people that have a little more experience in crochet mainly because of the rows um if you're pretty good in following patterns and just reading them definitely give it a try but if you're very like very beginner into crochet and you're not very comfortable with um different techniques in crochet then don't try it yet. i mean you could always give it a try just with the rose area it would take a little bit more work kind of but um i still would recommend just anyone to give it a try <laughs> so this next one is one of my favorites and it is the banana split ice cream amigurumi by stringy ding ding like i said i love their patterns <laughs> and i have made it here because i have it right here next to me so the original it's really big <laughs> so the original pattern um shows it in acrylic yarn but i made this with blanket yarn because I wanted to make something huge and it is huge it is pretty easy to make um, it's beginner friendly but I would say this is more for people that want a longer project and that's something that's very quick it does take a little bit longer because it does require more pieces you know like the three ice cream the three little uh, whipped cream and the cherries plus the syrup here and then the bananas which you're gonna be making two bananas and then the little basket so it does it is a little more time-consuming but I would say it's totally worth it for <laughs> for this thing. The original pattern does use acrylic yarn, but I used blanket yarn, so it's up to you on what size you want to make it. But it is super fun and it is so cute and I refuse to ever sell it because it's like one of my favorite things that I've made so far. <laughs> the next pattern is a Boba Cat Amigurumi buy little love every day so i haven't tried this pattern but i do have it saved because i love me some boba and then a little cat boba like that's so cute um it is pretty easy to follow so it is very beginner friendly and um i think it would be really fun to make and just have it around your house or even to sell it if you want um uh, but it's really really cute and honestly i can't wait to make one <laughs> This next one also goes with Easter and it is the Easter Peep Amigurumi by Stringy Ding Ding, of course. <laughs> so I haven't tried that pattern just yet, but I do do want to try it. Um, I already did the uh, little bunny peep, so I might as well just do the little chicken peep, right? Um, so I think it would be super cute and it looks so easy. I read through the pattern and it, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, so there's not much construction. It's just all one go and um, honestly, I would probably make it out of blanket yarn because I feel like it would be the most cuddly thing ever. <laughs> so the next one is a drummy bucket by Phil Ferguson. Uh, when you do click on it, it is going to have you download the pattern, but it is free. So don't worry, you don't have to purchase it. Um, it's funny because when I found it, KFC was the one that posted it on Pinterest, but it does take you directly to the pattern from the creator. And I have followed that pattern and it is like the most cutest thing ever. So um, I did add it to this little ghost, but um, this is the pattern that I followed by Phil Ferguson and it's obviously the little drummy bucket. It does t teach you how to do the color changes and then the little drumsticks. And it's like, it's the cutest thing ever. I'm like obsessed with it and <laughs> it was really, really fun. So this next pattern, um, I think it would be really fun because it was really trendy at some point. I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, but it's the Reversible Octopus and it is by Crafting Happiness. So if you're not familiar, basically there was these little octopus plushies that you could uh, turn inside out and each side had a little 
face on it so like a little mood so one of them one of them will be angry and the other one will be happy i guess it's like if you're not good at communicating your feelings it was good to kind of demonstrate it to your partner or to just anyone in general and i actually got really excited that i found one on pinterest for free because i think it would be really fun to make um i don't know if they're still popular but i feel like people will still enjoy them and the pattern is pretty easy um it's no sewing it's just all crocheting so that's a bonus <laughs> So the next one is a S'mores Amigurumi by Crafty Kitty Crochet. I read through the pattern. I haven't followed it yet, but I did read it. And it is honestly so easy. It's so beginner friendly and it's just so cute. Um, the only thing is it doesn't show um, if you should stick like the cookies onto the marshmallow. Uh, you can totally do it by hot gluing it all or sewing it all. It, it's really up to you. Um, but it's so easy and i i think it's the most cutest thing ever i've seen some people do um some little s'mores plushies and i think it would be like the most adorable thing on like a couch or in a bed <laughs> And last but not least, it is the Chocolate Easter Bunny. And this pattern is by, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to butcher the name, but I think it's Heige, Heige uh, Crochet Co. I'm so sorry, I totally butchered that name. I couldn't figure out how to, um, how to pronounce it. But um, like with Easter around the corner, it's honestly the perfect time to make those. Um, people love the little chocolate bunnies. It's a classic that everyone remembers along with the peeps. So I think it would be really fun to just make a bunch of those and like gift them to people in like gift baskets or even just like making a bunch of them like for like a little garland or something. I think it would be super cute or just making a giant one in like a blanket yarn and just cuddling with it. So I think that would be really, really cute. Um, I definitely do want to make some um, because I would love to decorate my my house with like crocheted Easter stuff <laughs> so I feel like that would be super fun to make all right so those were the 15 free crochet patterns that I have saved on my Pinterest um, like I said some of them I have tried and others I haven't yet but I will in the future so if you're ever interested in following any of those patterns I do have them linked down in my description um, like I said they're free so you don't have to worry about purchasing any of them and with that I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe and if you want me to do a part two of this video uh, please feel free to let me know down in the comments because I would love to share more free patterns that I have saved on my pin interest um instagram i think i have some saved on my facebook i would love to share them with you guys so just let me know if you want more of these videos and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and with that i will see you lovely hookers in my next video bye